All right, hey, welcome back. I do hope that you did your homework from yesterday's video where you located, you physically located your chakras and then transferred what you saw and what you felt or how you felt or what color you saw with each of those chakras to give you a quick snapshot of what is going on. As we start today, we're going to talk strictly about the root chakra. I'm really excited because I know a lot of people in our Chakras for Beginners course are constantly talking about the root chakra and bringing in more money or feeling safe, getting rid of depression or anxiety, and just working with the, the harmony of that chakra. I say a lot of times the root chakra is to blame, but I don't know that that's always true. It really just depends on what's going on with you. So let's dive in to the root chakra and let's learn um let's learn about this one so i do also hope that you well never mind i won't even say that so anyway okay so we already know the location is the base of the spine and at the base of the spine if you're sitting is now as we're going through the root chakra is let's activate that one so i i chose to lower my computer i was standing in the last few videos I'm lower my computer and I'm going to just, you can kind of sit, you can rotate your hips, you can bounce up and down. And this just helps to activate the energy of that chakra. It's at the base of the spine. Now, there's a couple of things that will help you to understand the broad overview of each chakra. And these are some of the first um, indicators of what you can do or what the chakra represents. When we talk about the element, that is the base element, the earth or the plane element that that chakra is associated with. When it's associated with that specific element, you know right offhand that those things that I engage with that are associated with that chakra can help to open and balance that chakra. So for example, the element here is earth. So if I want to bring balance to the, earth, to the, the root chakra, I have to become a little bit more intertwined with the earth. So I can go out and garden. I can be one with nature. I could go for a walk. I could be outside. I could climb a tree. I could dig my hands in the dirt. I could go to the beach and play in the sand. I could manipulate and, and decorate my house with, with stones or rocks or plants. All of these things help me to connect with the earth. And that is the element of the root chakra. Because the root chakra is our connection to Mother Earth. It is our safety. This is our home. And being connected to Mother Earth is what's going to help us to feel safe, to feel secure, and to help rid us of you of anxiety. Do you suffer from anxiety? Because we're going to talk about that here today in the root chakra video. The base color of the root chakra is red. So working with the color red can also help, um, help to bring balance and harmony to that chakra. And that is also what you're looking for when we do our meditation is you're looking for that vibrant red color. How do we generally block or overall, how do we generally block this chakra? It's by fear. Now, this is not always fear of like fear from like a, an, an, an animal is coming and chasing me and about to eat me alive but fear it's fear based emotion the opposite of fear is love those are the two spectrums but in order to heal we need to surrender if you have a meditation practice if you happen to use mala beads which is going to come up in pretty much every single one of these chakras is to use the words i surrender now let me decipher let me explain that the difference between surrendering or what i mean by surrendering is not to give up but to surrender. You are surrendering to a higher power. You're surrendering to God. You're surrendering to source energy that just allows you to quit trying to grip things so tightly. Because in that fear of gripping and controlling and forcing, you are closing your root chakra. You are preventing money from coming to you. You are preventing this, the safety and, safety and security of living on the planet. You are preventing the well-being of the natural harmony of emotions and healing, natural healing, to come your way. We don't want to do that. We don't want to stop those things from heading our way. We want abundance and prosperity and healing and safety to come in abundance towards us. So these are some of the main physical associations 
There's lots of physical associations. You're not going to remember them all. I don't remember them all. I've been studying this for 10 years. But what I do is I associate whatever is happening in my body. I take the physical ailment and I say basically, which chakra is this ailment closest to physically? If I have shoulder pain, I'm like, oh man, shoulder. Which one is it closer to? The heart chakra. So the shoulders, if I were to guess, because I don't have them all memorized, I believe is the heart chakra. So now I can work on the heart chakra and I can help to heal my shoulder pain. So keep that first and foremost in mind. But here's a few of the main ones that you might be dealing with or the main physical associations for the root chakra. The feet, the knees is pretty much all of the legs, the hips, the genitals, of course, because you're sitting on them, the colon, if we're going inward, the large intestine, the kidneys, your immune system, blood, and bladder. There, the list is bigger, but those are some of the few that I wanted to share with you to help you understand the root chakra. The overall function of the root chakra is security and purpose. It is to keep you safe, to, for you to feel safe on this planet, and also that you have a purpose that you're here. You're not just here. You have a purpose. I don't know what your purpose is. That is kind of our job as in our lives is to figure out what our purpose is and to help fulfill our spiritual reason for being here. But I do believe that all of us have a purpose, all of us, and that's a lot of us's. Okay, let's talk about what the chakra is like when it's blocked. Blocked feels like these are the physical ailments, so physical body, lower body pain, so it's ankles, knees, thighs, um, feet, toes, any of the lower body pain, low back pain, or any kind of kidney issues, kidney stones, um, bladder infections, all of these are impotence. All of these are based in the root chakra. Now, what about mental? Now, these some of these are, are mental and emotional, but mental, anger, greedy, impatient, violent, self-centered, destructive, competitive and any variation in between. The emotional, you might be feeling depressed, anxious, have suicidal thoughts, addictions, you lack confidence, lack purpose, lack sense of belonging, maybe you're greedy. So if you are associating with any one of these things, then your root chakra is the culprit. Meaning that now we need to spend a little bit more time trying to figure out how to balance that root chakra. If you are not dealing with those, let's see if maybe you have a balanced root chakra. Maybe physically you move around the planet easily and effortlessly. You don't have any problems physically with your body. Mentally, you're overall stable in life. You feel just fine. You are you not only have a purpose on this planet, you know you have a purpose, but maybe you are living that purpose or you're certainly actively moving towards it. This includes your finances, your security, and your basic needs are being met. I have met a few people that have that and say their root chakra is fine. I physically feel fine inside and out, clean bill of health. I don't have any back problems, knee problems, ankle, anything, and I feel amazing. To me, their root chakra is in healthy condition. Emotionally, you might feel grounded, abundant, and secure and purposeful. And it's amazing when you do feel those things. You do this energy work and your physical experience starts to shift. So now here, do you remember me saying in the very first, first or second video where I talked about there's three different ways that I have come up with where you can help to bring balance to your chakras. One is that physical way. So getting out into the world, exploring your world at a physical level to bring balance. Another is a spiritual, is using different manipulatives, I want to say, like incense and essential oils or gemstones to help, and mala beads, to help you to bring balance. But you're in kind of this connective state where you're manipulating something physical, but you're also working at this energy level because you're connecting the two, right? And then the last one is really just working at the energy level, meditating, doing energy work, Reiki work. All of these things will help you to bring balance. So let's talk back to the root. Physically, remember the element is earth. So anything that you can do to get outside, to be with trees, nature, dirt, plants, 
anything that kind of moves you and grounds you. If you are feeling anxious or overwhelmed, I suggest you get outside and go for a really big, long walk in nature, in the grass, in the stones or the sand. Getting out if there's rocks or um, boulders or mountains near you, all of this can help to bring that anxiety level down and to help you feel more grounded. Um, you can also, at this, at this physical level, is manipulate things that are grounding. I realized when I started um, the meditation room practice, uh, our business, we we're selling mala beads and gemstones and crystal stuff and, and our um, chakra kits and meditation kits. And I was looking for rocks and I realized that I have been collecting rocks pretty much my whole life. And I, I do sometimes suffer from an imbalanced root chakra. And I found it interesting that in my different meditation spaces in my house where I have kind of a, a gathering of meditation products and there's always rocks nearby, just beautiful rocks and stones that I found out as I was out hiking or walking. And I thought that it was kind of interesting that I am drawn to this and yet it provides this root chakra balancing to me as it's in my space. So consider that when you're trying to balance a certain chakra is you can bring those things into your space. Bring rocks in or plants. Maybe put a boulder in the front yard. I've always, I'm, I'm going to get a house one day and I'm going to put a big giant boulder in my front yard. I've always wanted one. No idea why. Obviously, I'm just attracted to them. But if you can bring some of the outside stuff into your house, then it's readily available to you in case for a short period of time you can't get outside. Another thing, the spiritual. These are the things that I really like doing. Um, lighting grounding incense, placing root chakra gemstones under each of your feet and affirming any of the following. I am safe. I belong here. I have a purpose. I surrender. All of these things will help to bring you back to the planet. If you are ever experiencing anxiety, if you already know that you experience anxiety in certain situations, I would recommend Mala beads that you can wear on your wrist, that you can use manipulatively when you are going out into that environment where you may be anxious. Another is to carry a stone with you, to put a stone in your pocket. Could just be a simple stone you just got outside, or it could be something like lava stone, or tiger eye, or hematite. All of these will help you to just be centered and be grounded. When you are feeling anxious, I encourage you to breathe deeply, become present, and then do whatever you can to grab some earth energy and bring it into your field and use that to bring you back down. Now, let me just explain before we move on to the energetic part. Let me explain what anxiety is. Think of yourself in two parts, the physical being and your spiritual being. So my physical being, here's my spiritual inside. My physical being, if I'm not grounded, on this planet, if I don't feel safe here, I don't feel like I belong here, my spiritual energy can start to do this. It's like leaving the body. Well, my physical being is going to feel anxious if I'm my energy is leaving the body. It, the energy then becomes high in the higher chakras. Let me ask you this. If you suffer from anxiety, when you are having an uh, anxiety or a panic attack or a lot of anxiety, where do you feel it? You feel it up here. Head, shoulders, chest, right? That energy is moving up through the upper chakras, highly activating these chakras. And what it does, if, if my arms are the chakras, it creates this. This is the root chakra. This is the crown. Most of your energy is up here in this like upside down triangle. What we want to do is do this and kind of bring that energy back out, bringing that energy down into the three physical chakras, your root, your sacral, your solar. So moving the energy down, slowing your breathing down, because anxiety is very, ha a very chaotic and fast and light. We want to slow it down and bring it down. So think of that when next time you are feeling anxious. Slow it down and bring it down. And then using those manipulative tools to help focus your mind to bringing your energy down back to Mother Earth, okay? Energetically, this is about working with the energy, using intentions, using your mind, you're mastering your thoughts, and you are managing your emotions. And you're going to look at those chakras 
You're going to look at your root chakra in your mind's eye, get that assessment, and then manipulate that energy to get it to clean, to clear, to balance. You can say things like, how can I get more grounded? You can also use the same affirmations in the spiritual section. I am safe. I belong here. I surrender. All of this is going to help you bring balance back to that chakra. Here is your homework. I would love to see you to bring balance to that chakra. If you looked at your sheet, your assessment sheet, and you saw that that chakra needed some work, then these are some of the wonderful, powerful tools that you can use. They seem so simple though, don't they? They seem so simple, but I will tell you this. Between, if this is you feeling anxious, and this is you with this new tool, this space in between is your thought and your choice. Anxious, new tool. Thought in between, that's the choice you make. That I'm going to start moving over here to start using this new tool to help me with my anxiety. Now, I'm going to give you another little powerful technique, a little powerful tool, if you do suffer from anxiety. Is never say, I am anxious. Say, add a word in between there that doesn't allow you to identify with the word anxious or depressed or angry. I am feeling anxious. I am feeling angry. I am feeling depressed. Feel the difference in how you say those two things. I am anxious or I have anxiety. I am feeling anxious. This one feels like I'm saying my name is Jen. It feels like I am identifying with it. Over here, I have a feeling and I can change that feeling. I am feeling anxious in this moment, but in the next moment I might not be. So just try that on as well. That's your homework. Any one of these activities that you can do to bring balance back to your root chakra. And I hope that you are following in, our, in one of our groups, either Chakras for Beginners group or Lady Rising group, and post in there. Share your thoughts in this group, letting me know how you're coming along with this masterclass. I'd be happy to hear about your successes, and I'd be more than happy to help support you in your struggles. Next, we are going to be talking about the root, no, I'm sorry, the sacral chakra. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.